Hey guys, welcome back. Few days back, OnePlus rolled out Android 11 Developer Preview 3 for OnePlus 8 series. And they also said that it's going to be last Developer Preview. But today they have again rolled out the new Developer Preview, which is Developer Preview 4 for OnePlus 8 series. I've already received the OTA update. If you guys haven't received the OTA update, you can download the file and place it inside the internal storage of your device. If you are running stable version, then download the full zip file and also make sure to take backup of your device. After placing inside the internal storage, go to settings, system, system update and you can tap on the gear icon towards the right top corner and select local upgrade. But as I have already received the update and the update size was around 300 MB. Downloading and installation process have already been completed. So let's reboot a device to complete the installation process. A device have been successfully booted up. And also guys, we have started a new series of testing gaming on custom rooms. And those videos are in Hindi. If you are interested in such kind of videos, you can subscribe to our gaming channel. Link of that will be given in the description below. We'll also be doing gaming on Android 11 and we'll upload a video by tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe our gaming channel. And now let's talk about the developer preview 4. First, let's take a look at the software information by going to about section. And here you can see device is OnePlus 8. Android version is Android 11. And now we have the 1st September 2020 security patch. And build is developer preview 4. After the update, there are no changes done under launcher, which is still 5.0.0. Camera version have been slightly updated, which is now version 5.4.74. But nothing new have been added. If you guys haven't seen camera features of Oxygen OS 11, I'll leave a video in the description below where I've covered all the new features which were added on Oxygen OS 11 camera. And guys, trust me, after this update, the device have become more smoother and performance is top notch. On developer preview 3, there were slight lags to be noticed and also had issues with the screen unlock. But that has been fixed now. Basically, developer preview 4 brings a lots of fixes. Let's take a look at the change logs, system update. And here you can see change logs are completely related to system. They have added few new features under game space, fix some issues related to gallery, shelf and network. So talking about the first one under system, which says optimize display effect with some UI. Optimize the lagging issue under some settings. As I said previously, I had lots of issues with the UI crashing. And after the update, I haven't found any kind of bugs till now. The UI is pretty smooth and performance is at its best. Then they have optimized the stability with upload of logs in community app. On the previous build, I tried submitting a bug, but I could not successfully upload the logs. But with this latest update, I don't find any kind of issues. If you face any kind of bugs here on developer preview 4, you can directly upload the logs from the community app. So this has been fixed by OnePlus. After that, they have optimized the delay response issue with pull down of status bar. Yes, this was also a bug and that has also been fixed with this latest update. Now you won't find any kind of delay when you pull down the notification panel. Then they have fixed the crash or reboot issue under some settings. I did not face any kind of reboot issues on my previous build. After that, fix the all black issue with status bar in dark mode. Yes, this was again a bug with a dark mode wherein some of the notifications never used to adapt to dark mode. But now they have fixed it with the latest update. Then they have fixed the bug that system cannot be restarted after OTA upgrade. Previously, we never received any OTA update of developer preview. This was the first time and my device successfully rebooted after updating the device using OTA update. And then they have fixed the disable save feature of screenshot. Yes, even I faced a lot of issues in saving few of my screenshots, but now that has been fixed and now you can easily take the screenshot which you can find it inside your gallery. Now moving on to the next change log, which is related to game space. So here they have added new gaming toolbox for convenient switches of fanatic mode. And you can also use messenger apps like Instagram, WhatsApp while gaming. And then they have added the mistouch prevention feature. So these features can be found inside the game space application. Here we have the game space going inside the settings. So from here, if this feature is not enabled, make sure you enable it. And this is the new toolbox which they have added. Whenever you open any game, you can either swipe from the right top corner or from the left top corner, which gives you access to WhatsApp, Instagram, fanatic mode, notification type, mistouch prevention and screen recorder. Along with that, you can also see your battery percentage and device temperature. 
and oneplus should also add the fps meter in the game space application if you guys agree to that do let me know in the comment section below and now talking about the next change log which is related to gallery which says fix the abnormal increase of brightness when entering the gallery and fix the incomplete screenshot issues in some cases so yes this was again a problem with the gallery application wherein brightness used to automatically increase but after this update you won't find any kind of issues related to brightness with gallery app moving on to the next change log which is related to shelf which says fix the issue that background of weather did not display yes this was a bug on the previous build and that has been fixed now you can clearly see the background of weather application and now the last change log is related to network which says improve the performance and stability of network transfers so guys these were the complete change logs and the fixes done by oneplus on android 11 developer preview 4 now let's take a look at the benchmark results i was unable to install antutu benchmark application so i can't show you the benchmark results with that but with geekbench application single core have scored 886 and multi-core have scored 3117. So guys, this was a quick look on the latest update for OnePlus 8 series based on Oxygen OS 11. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.